This video will guide you through assembling the Portola e-bike. For additional assembly information, please visit our assembly resource page for the Ride One Up Portola. Start by opening the box and carefully removing the bike. We recommend getting help from someone when lifting the bike out of the box. Remove the small box near the top of the bike by cutting the zip tie. Inside the box, you'll find a tool set to help you assemble the bike, maintenance grease, the charger, and a few other items. Carefully cut the zip ties and all packaging material from the bike. Be sure not to cut any wiring or cables while doing so. Place the stem and handlebars on the side of the bike with the front tire. This will avoid damaging any wires and cabling as you unfold the bike. Carefully unfold the bike and secure the frame latch. Ensure that the locking pin on the latch has been fully engaged. At this point, you can use the kickstand to keep the bike in the upright position. Remove the rest of the packaging material from the bike. Unfold the pedals by pushing down and locking them into position. Next, to install the stem and handlebars, begin by using your 5mm hex wrench to remove the stem bolt and stem cap and set them aside. Remove this metal stem spacer from the sear tube. You won't be needing the spacer anymore, so it's safe to throw away. If your e-bike has this additional packaging spacer under the metal spacer, you can also remove it and throw it away so that you're only left with this single larger headset spacer. Place the stem and handlebars on the steer tube with the brake levers facing forward. Then push the silver pin on the stem latch to unlock and flip the stem latch downwards. Then press the oval safety button and flip the stem and handlebars downwards. Ensure that the fork is properly seated in the head tube as shown here. Then place the black stem cap on top of the steer tube and tighten the stem bolt with your 5mm hex wrench to about 5 Nm of torque. Secure the stem and handlebars in the upright position. With the handlebars upright, check that the wheel and handlebars are straight and aligned. You can use your legs to keep the wheel in position while you center the handlebars into alignment. Now that they're aligned, Unlatch and fold the stem once more and using a 5mm hex wrench, further tighten the stem bolt to about 7 newton meters. This will ensure your handlebars are secure and safe to ride. Using the 5mm hex wrench, screw the two side screws by alternating between them, tightening a little at a time to ensure that they are equally tightened. Ensure that the fork and stem are properly installed by holding down the left brake and firmly pushing the bike forwards and backwards. If it feels loose, go back and properly seat the stem on the head tube and tighten the stem cap bolt back to 7 newton meters. Adjust the headlight angle so that it's pointed slightly downwards and tighten using a hex wrench. To adjust the seat height, unlatch the seat clamp and set the length of the saddle to the desired height, then latch the seat clamp to secure it into position. Adjust the tire pressure to the specifications noted on the sidewall of the tires. The keys to your bike are zip tight near the handlebars. Carefully cut the zip tight, ensuring that you don't accidentally cut any of the wires of the bike. To remove the battery, insert the keys as shown and turn clockwise into an unlocked position. Then carefully twist the battery latch clockwise to release the battery from the frame and remove it by lifting from the top of the battery first. To reinstall the battery, place the bottom of the battery into the frame first, then the top, and push down until it clicks, then turn the keys counterclockwise to lock it into place. To fold the bike, release the frame latch and swing the rear tire towards the front of the bike. The small U-shaped bracket below on the bottom of the frame is meant to keep the bike upright in the folded position. Then fold the handlebars by releasing the stem latch, then pressing the over silver button and fold the stem downwards. To fold the pedals, push in towards the crank arms and pull up. The locking band on the rear rack can be looped around the fork to keep the bike securely folded. You're now ready to get riding. Check the description below for more information on derailleur tuning, adjusting and bedding your brakes, and display settings.
Plus, check out our support center for additional information and the digital copy of the most up-to-date owner's manual. If you need further assistance, please contact our customer support.